Welcome to Horrorverse, my name is Cody Hawk, and today we're going to talk about the 2019 Halloween slasher movie, Haunt, directed by, I had their names pulled up because I don't recognize them from anything, directed by Scott Beck and Brian Woods, um, and also it's produced, I, I've been try, I tried to look this up and I couldn't find anything for sure, but it's either produced by Eli Roth or produced by his production company, one of the two, I don't know which one. Um, but either way, Eli Roth's name is on this movie, which definitely makes it interesting. Um, a brief description of this movie is a couple friends, teenagers on Halloween, are driving down this backwoods road. They find just a random haunted house on the side of the road with just one neon sign. And they decide to go in and see what happens, see what it's like. And when they go in there, it's not what they were hoping for. Um... And let me just go ahead and say it now, this is an amazing movie, um, especially for Halloween. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't like an award-winning horror movie by any means. Um, very unnamed cast. There's only one person I recognize in this, and it's just from, he was in a bunch, he's been in a bunch of movies as, you know, B-rated characters. Nothing main. Um, I don't know his name. But besides that, no one else I recognize. Um... I mean, really, the only name in this movie at all that I recognize is Eli Roth, um, which is what made me want to watch it, because I really like Eli, Eli Roth's work. Um, but it's a great movie for Halloween. Um, it's amazing. I don't really know how to exp you know what else to say about it. I mean, it does have some problems, don't get me wrong, at all. It, there are some problems with this movie. There's a couple of scenes that don't make sense like the, what the characters decide to do and what some other characters decide to do don't make sense logically um, but I'm not holding that against it because it's a super fun movie it's a gory movie if you like those type of movies and it's an enclosed space movie which is a movie I've said before I really like I really like it when you have a group of characters in horror movies and thrillers different things like that they're enclosed into one building and seeing how they overcome that situation I love those type of movies so having that, having it be inside of a haunted house, um, all those things together are amazing. Um, the cinematography is great. The um, atmosphere, the music, uh, the music cues for this movie is phenomenal. And there's no jump scares. That's the best part about it. I don't remember any jump scares in this movie. And I love that. I hate jump scares. Um, some are deserved, I guess, in some movies if they do it just right. But... A lot of movies nowadays, they don't, and this movie didn't even try. They're like, no, fuck them. We're not going to do jump scares. We're going to do straight actual scares. Um, and there's some there's some twists at the end of the movie that, I don't know if you, it wasn't necessarily a plot twist. It's just something about the villains I wasn't expecting. Um, you'd have to watch to see that. Really creepy. Sorry about that. My camera crapped out, so um, I don't remember where I was at when I did that, but... Um, I mean, the movie is really good. Like I said, um, it's not like a amazing horror movie, but for what it is, the small tone. I'm sorry, a little thirsty. The um, small tone of it, the atmosphere of it, and the acting. The acting is good. Um, I believed all these characters, and I actually like these characters. You know, because in a lot of horror movies, when you have characters, they make you not care if they die. And in this one. Now, most, none of the characters really fleshed out except for the main, the, the final girl. Um, but even the ones that aren't, they're, some of them are assholes, but you still kind of like them. So you still are kind of concerned when you think they're going to die or when they do die or whatever. So that was really impressive to do, to be able to make you care about these characters without doing a lot of backstory. Because, um, I mean, the movie's not very long. It's only like a, your usual 90-minute slasher film. Um, but... <laughs> I mean, really, there's, I mean, everything about this movie I love. Um, like I said, the atmosphere of it, because especially since I love these type of movies where they're isolated characters, was a phenomenal. Um, the acting was good. Like I said, the um, the music was really good, like the music cues, I wanted the music would hit. Um, there's a couple known songs in this. It's got some Rob Zombie music in it, too. Um, I mean, it's all great. I would highly recommend this movie for you guys to go check it out, especially... For Halloween now, is it going to be a rewatchable horror movie? I don't know. I mean, I'll if I remember it, you know, in a few months, I'll rewatch and see if I still enjoy it. But I think for Halloween, when you're trying to find some scary movies to watch, and you want something that's actually focused on Halloween more than just a horror movie, this is your ticket for a new movie. This is great. Um, you know, low budget, 
good quality. I don't know if it has a DVD release. I watched it on Vudu, so I know you can watch it on VOD. Um, I don't know if there's a physical copy of it, but if not, then you can, I think you can buy it on VOD for like 10 bucks or rent it for four. Um, now, one thing I'm gonna say before I give a rating, I think I'm gonna switch my ratings around to, instead of numerical, I'm gonna do alphabetical. Because at least a lot of these movies I've reviewed, like I'll give them, you know, like a six or seven or whatever. And I kind of want to give like a six and a half, you know, like a half point. But it just seems weird doing that with numbers. So I figured if I do alphabetical, I can do, you know, B minus, B plus, stuff like that. So from this video onwards, that's going to be that. Um, so for hot, like I said, um, good cinematography, good music, good tone, atmosphere, care, everything's great. Eli Roth did amazing with this movie. I don't know how much work he did with it. Like I said, whether he produced it or his company produced it, really good job. And I'm going to give Hot a B minus. Um, uh, go check it out, especially for Halloween. It's a great movie. Um, scary. Really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Right, one more thing I want to say later. before I end the video. I know I already ended the review, but there's one kind of like a, a update, I guess you could say. Now, I said in a previous video I was going to do all the Halloween movies, the entire franchise, before Halloween. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that because I don't have time. Um, I will probably try to do a few of them and just see how far I can get, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do all of them. With There's a lot of things going on right now that I don't have time for. Um, so there's that. Then also I was going to let you guys know that I am going to Orlando's Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios next month. And I have bought some gear and some cameras and GoPros, stuff like that, to take with me to record my experience and share it with you guys. So we are going the first, first or second week in October. So after we get back, I'll edit the video, all the footage, and I will upload that to you guys so you guys can check that out. So hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you later.